Happy Wednesday, Trade Hackers. Today is Wednesday, March 4th. Welcome to today's update, big update in the market. Taking a look at the S&P to start up 120, 118. Dow up over 1,000, NASDAQ up over 300, the Russell up flirting with 50, up over 3%, some closer to 4% on the upside. Oil's pretty flat, gold pretty flat, bonds down just a little bit, natty gas up a couple percent. So looking forward, going forward, what is going on? Why did we go up today? I mean, was Tuesday, was Super Tuesday that super that it just made the S&Ps go up 100 points? Is the coronavirus dead? I mean, what, what's going on here? What, what's, what's up with the big move? The media will give you a reason, but I think in reality, I mean, when, when things are just this volatile, you're, like I said, you're going to see big swings in different directions. Now, does today's big up day change my mind on the overall kind of direction of this market? No, a absolutely not. I mean, I, I said a couple days ago, you know, we saw this big flush. I said, I think we're going to consolidate and or potentially just roll over and hit some new lows below that 2853. And I still think that's the case. Now, it's kind of weird to say that we're in a consolidation period when the S&Ps are up 120, right? But in, in a move like this, I mean, your, your ranges are just going to expand so much that the range of consolidation that you're going to see could be, you know, in this area here. And we're talking about, what is that? Uh, 250 some points in the s and I mean, th that's a massive range, but it could still be kind of a consolidation. I still think that's kind of what we're doing before we roll over a little bit. You know, weird to say that a 100 point move can be inside of a col consolidation when just a few weeks ago, a consolidation was a period like this where we're talking about a 50 point range. So crazy stuff, wild swings, but I do not think we are out of the woods yet. I am not buying this rally, not going to buy it, not going to do it. So well, the only real trade we made is we added some short delta to our overall portfolio in anticipation of that potential rollover. And so that's the overall market. Some of the other stocks, I mean, everything's up, right? We uh, Yesterday, we talked about the advanced decline. So if we take a look at that, you know, it's, it's pretty much the opposite, right? There's one stock, well, three, between one and three, bouncing around, declining. We're talking about... Occidental Petroleum, which is an energy stock, so no surprise there. One that's kind of flat, GE and Boeing pretty flat. Everything else in the green, in the green machine. It's a green day, green all around. Some of the other stocks, though, you know, the one that's up the biggest is United Healthcare, UNH, up almost 11%. Just a massive move today, and it's actually off of its highs. It's actually up quite a bit more. So it looks like Joe Biden kind of won the primaries. He's he's kind of the leading Democratic nominee, and he's more favorable to healthcare companies. So using UNH is kind of the Joe Biden indicator. Well, that that bodes well for him, and bodes well for healthcare as far as how it relates to these healthcare companies. That is, and so call it what you want. That's the that's the Biden indicator. UNH. Just watch that if you want to know how Biden's doing in the race. Other than that, that's about it. Look for some more volatility the rest of this week. Everybody have a great evening. We'll talk to you later.